Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. Several viewers have wanted me to do a video on how to properly secure a tractor to a trailer if you're going to move your tractor around. And it's taken me a while to get the information together to do this. I wanted to give you good information. I've studied up on the regulations. I've met with Missouri Department of Transportation officials. In fact, I spent a day with them. And there's a lot of information to share. And I apologize for doing this to you, but I'm going to break it down into four videos. And if you're going to move your tractor on the open road on a trailer, I urge you watch all four of them. And uh, the first one is going to talk about the way you select the chains and binders to secure the tractor to the trailer, because there's some mathematics you must do in order to get the adequate amount of pull on the chains and the binders. We're going to talk about chains and binders today, but that's just two components of securing a tractor to a trailer that you need to know about. And stay with me, guys. This is kind of dry information, but at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you about the third component that most people don't even know about. First off, let's talk about chain. When you're securing a tractor to a trailer, you're going to get chain, and you need to get at least grade 70 or above chain. And it's marked on the hook. This says G70 right here, which means grade 70. Now, I'm going to put a little plug in for Lowe's. I don't get paid by Lowe's, but I found this chain. It was a 20 foot, 5 16 inch chain at Lowe's for 37 bucks, which is pretty cheap for a heavy chain. So that's what I got. Now, on the chain package, and I'm just going to pull the label off, and I ripped it here. It shows the rated capacity of the chain at 4,700 pounds. That's the WLL, working load limit of the chain. That's the maximum it can hold, 4,700 pounds. Remember that number. Now the second component in securing a tractor to a trailer is a boomer, and here's a boomer, and this is a ratchet style boomer. Now most boomers will say on the handle, and I've got it upside down right here, the working load limit of the boomer, and this has a WLL of 5,400 pounds. Now, you take the, the lesser of the two. So in other words, the binder or the boomer can secure more than the chain. All right, here's the third component, and that is the place you attach it on a trailer. And we're either looking at a, a rub rail, like this one has, or a D-ring, which is a, a specially designed bracket just for securing uh, equipment to a trailer. Or in my case, I went through a bracket that is designed to hold stakes if you put sides on the trailer. And it's also designed uh, to, to secure uh, tractors or equipment to the trailer. Now, that will have a WLL or working load limit rating as well. And most people don't know that. Most trailer people don't know that. The people that sell them, I've sold trailers, I didn't know that, but that has a limit. Now, here's how you calculate your working load limit and whether you've got enough uh, chains and binders rating and trailer rating to secure your tractor. Let's say our trailer securing point was rated at 6,000 pounds, our, our boomer or binder at 5,400 pounds, and our chain at 4,700 pounds. You take the lesser of those three numbers, which is the chain, at 4,700 pounds. We're going to put four chains on the load. So we're going to multiply 4,700 by 4, which gives us 18,800 pounds. Now, we divide that number by 2, which gives us 9,400 pounds. As long as our load weighs less than that, we're within compliance. This is a little complicated, it's a little long and dry. I appreciate you staying with me. Hey, I survive on web traffic. If you'd like to share this video with other folks, that would be awesome. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and also have a Facebook page. It would be awesome if you'd like it. Thanks for watching.